Hello scholars, today our goal is to take equations like this um, and think about how could we subtract using a number line. So when we want to create a number line on Seesaw, we come down here, we can click shapes, grab this line, and then click outside of the shapes, pull the line for a nice long way so we have a nice long number line to work with. Now I'm going to plan out how to set up my number line. Let me show you what I'm thinking. So when I think of this problem, I think of it in a number bond like we've talked about before. So in a number bond, there are parts and there is a whole. So here's my number bond that I'm setting up. And the parts that I have right now, well, the whole that I have right now, because when I subtract, I start with my whole, I take out a part, and I find the part that's left. So my whole that I'm starting with is 62. I'm going to put that over here. That is the whole number that we, that we have. Then we're going to take out 45. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to write the number 45. And I'm going to place that in one of my parts. And now over here in the other circle, I don't know what the other part is. That's the mystery that our number line is going to help us figure out. So basically, if we have 45, and we already know that part, we need to find how much more does it take to get to 62. Because remember, these two lines are kind of like arrows. So 45 are kind of like roads. What I think of is 45 is riding on a car. He's going up into this circle. That's the whole. And then some other number rides in there and they make 62 together. These two parts should make 62. But right now we only know the part that's 45. So we're going to start with the 45 at the beginning of our number line. And we want to count until we get to 62 to find out what's in between 45 and 62. 45 plus something is going to make 62. So when I jump on my number line, I can draw my jumps with whatever color marker I want. Um, and I'm planning how can I jump in the most efficient way? What would make the most sense? I know 45 is almost a friendly number. It's almost our friendly 10 of 50. Okay, so how do I get from 45 to 50? I know I just need to look here. I need five more ones to make my new 10, which will be 50. So I'm going to draw a jump and label this one plus five. Okay, so once I've added on five, that makes the number 50. Okay, and I'm gonna keep going. I see 50, and I know I wanna get to 62. So I'm gonna need to pay attention to that tens place. Could I add a 10? Yeah, completely, because if I go from 50 and then I do 10 more, and I change my tens place one 10 higher, that makes 60. But I know that what I just did was I added on 10 to get to that number. And I can't forget to label my hops. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so close to 62 now. I only need two more. And they need two more ones. So I just go one, two. Those are kind of big. <clears throat> one. 60 plus one is 61. And one more. 61 plus 1 is 62. I got there. Okay, so what we've found out is that 45 plus this much more, all of these hops that I took, makes 62. So this part we know. We didn't know this part, but now we do. So what is the difference between 62 and 45, or what is 62 minus 45? It's whatever is left up here, okay? What's in between the two numbers is the difference. So we can go 10, 5, 
10 and 5 make 15. Two more, 16, 17. My answer must be 17. Awesome. If you really wanted to check back and make sure you did it right, you could do 45 plus 17 and see if it makes 62. So this is an example of how to use a number line to subtract, okay? So even though you're counting up, you're really finding the difference, which is still subtraction, just in a very different way. Let's see if you can try this on your problems. And submit it with the green check when you're done. Okay, good deal.